What's up, everyone? Welcome to Let's Play Pokemon Sienna version. I'm Munching Orange, one of the directors for Ninbuzz. And, um, let's go ahead and get started right away. First off, I'll like to give credit to Max and Harry for, uh, creating this hack. I don't know if it's one person or actually two people. I'm gonna take the wild guess that it's two people because it is Max and Harry, so, you know, I really don't know. But anyway, um, this is a hack of Pokemon Fire Red, and right off the bat you'll see one big difference is there are 4th gen Pokemon in this one. So, you know, a lot of people, you know, love 4th gen Pokemon in 3rd gen hacks, but uh, some people hate it. I personally don't find it a problem at all. Um, but I don't think I'll be using any 4th gen Pokemon in this Let's Play, so you don't really have to worry about it. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna be nicknaming myself Orange like I do for most of my Let's Plays, which you can check out on my normal channel. Um, there will probably be a link in the description if you want to check my regular channel out. Uh, I mostly do Pokemon Let's Plays. I've tried to do other Nintendo stuff like Super Mario and, uh, Zelda, but they haven't really gone too well, so I mostly like to stick to Pokemon. Um... You'll notice, first of all, is you've got a new character sprite, so, you know, it looks pretty cool. Um, the back sprite isn't, I'm not really a big fan, but the overworld sprite looks pretty awesome, with the blue hair and everything, and the red backpacks of awesomeness and everything, so, you know, for Ninbuzz, I'll probably be doing a lot of hack let's plays like this one, and here we've got our hovering mom, who doesn't get a walking animation, so, I don't know, and she uses a lot of smart words like rebuked and... Then she's going to ask you to nickname your rival. Go ahead and do whatever you want with that. I'm just going to nickname him Harry because that's a default name. Um, I guess the default name for your character would be Max. I, I don't know because I never tried it, but there we go. Hovering Mom, you're awesome. And we're going to head out into Atlantic Town. Uh, here's our mailbox, okay. And over here we've got our rival's house, and he's got a cool hat. So here's Harry. Hey! I heard you were getting your Pokemon today. Yeah, your mother told me from Professor Marsh, right? Anyway, once you get your Pokemon, come see me. I'll have a special surprise for you. I'll make sure to do that, Harry. Um, I keep wanting to say Harry Potter, but they're nothing alike, so I'm probably not going to do that. Hey, hey, hey! What's up, dude? Do I seem hyper or something? I just drank 11 soda pops. I feel so refreshed. Ah, dumb little kids. Probably going to get diabetes from that. But we're not going to talk about that. Hold your horses. You can't go through here without a Pokemon. Respect your elders and listen to them and stuff. So I guess we'll go get our Pokemon from the professor's lab. Here's Professor Marsh. Come over here and see me or something. Good, you're here. Now I've spoken to your mother. She informed me of your situation. Well, I've got three Pokemon here, and they are from the Johto region. So, uh, for this uh, beta of the hack, which is basically this version, you do get um, to pick the starters from Johto. Uh, I guess I'll go in the order from the ones I'm not going to pick. So I'm not going to pick Chikorita, and I'm not going to pick Cyndaquil, which only leaves one choice, and that is Totodile. Now, Totodile, I'll be nicknaming most of or all of my Pokemon in this Let's Play. Uh, the first nickname is going to be for Totodile, because it's the first Pokemon. And the nickname will be a reference to a, an old Let's Play that I have on my channel of one of the Pokemon hacks. Probably my favorite one of all is Pokemon Shiny Gold X. I did a playthrough of that game, if you guys want to check that out. Um, you know, I, I had it for Alligator, and I named it Jaws. So I guess I'll pick Jaws here. And uh, you better get back to your research, because, you know, you can get AIDS. I heard AIDS. That's all I heard. So before you leave... Um, which is a big plot twist, you know, from regular Pokemon games, is you get to battle the Professor as opposed to your rival as your first, uh, trainer battle. See, like I said, I don't really, I'm not a big fan of the back sprite. The Professor sprite looks okay, but, you know, the, your own character sprite, I don't really like it too much, you know, the back sprite, but... Uh, here we go, as if you might not have been able to tell, um, this game does have Heart Gold Soul Silver sprites, you know, um, you know, devamped a little to fit the third gen graphics, but... Nonetheless, it does have the Heart Gold Soul Silver sprites integrated into it. Um, I'm not sure about this back sprite, but I'm pretty sure that's the Heart Gold Soul Silver front sprite for Cyndaquil. So, you know, you can go ahead and use Leer, that'll lower his defense, and then, you know, you can take him down with Let's Hits. But I honestly recommend you just keep scratching him out. In whichever Pokemon you have, just keep using your damaging move, because, you know, using your uh, Leer or Growl or whatever you may have, it will kind of help, you know, you'll take him down in Let's Hits, but... In the end, you'll still take him out either way, you know. Losing your rival battle is pretty hard. Unless you're playing, like, Shiny Gold X, where that guy has a Slowpoke or something, but... Um, first rival battle, generically, isn't that hard. And we get 69 experience points. Yup, that was definitely not scripted in. Which it probably was. I was being sarcastic. Which you probably got, but I don't know. Let's just move right along. And, um, you know, this is kind of introductory battle, so you really shouldn't have a hard time winning... 
Um, but if you do lose, then I guess, you know, tough luck. I don't really know what to say, but, you know, we have a purple arrow there, and if we try to go past this elderly lady again, she will hold your horses once again. And, uh, you know, I totally forgot to see my friend Harry, because he definitely told me to go see him, so I guess we'll go do that right now. Um, I guess I'll take this minute to talk a little more about the Ninbuzz project that I'm going to be doing on here. Uh, Pokemon hacks don't really take that long. This one, for example, has uh, four gyms, so this might not take that long, but I actually really rather play Pokemon hacks than official games. But, you know, if you guys want me to do Pokemon official games, you can leave it in the comments below. Um, also, you can download this hack. I'm pretty sure if you Google search it, like Pokemon Sienna Download, you can find it on Poke Community, a couple of other sites. Um, it'll be an IPS file, so you know, you'll need to figure out how to patch it and everything. I can't really tell you how to do everything, so. Here's the trainer tips. Press start to open the menu. I don't really need to open the menu right now, so let's not do that and instead go over to this guy. Ooh, a budding trainer. I don't know what that word means, but I use it because it makes me sound smart. We're just going to completely skip this because I can definitely show you guys how to catch Pokemon myself, so, you know, uh, talk to him, he's going to teach you how to catch Pokemon, and we're going to skip it. Yay! And just like that, he caught himself a Weedle. But yeah, I can definitely teach you guys how to catch Pokemon later on, it's not really that complex to do. Um, you definitely should weaken his Pokemon, which is something he doesn't do, so... That wasn't even a good tutorial, to be honest. He gives you the Teach You TV, too, which I guess you can check on that um, if you want to catch Pokemon, too. Here's Heathen Pass, connecting Atlantic City to some other town that I really don't care about. Now, there's a little glitch here that you guys can whore out if you want to, right in the beginning. You get a potion from this guy. However, if you go to the next route and then come back, you can get unlimited potions from him. I don't know if there's a limit, but I know I've done it at least, like, I've gotten 10 potions from him before. Just go on to the next town, or the next route, and then go back, and he will give you another person, or potion, not person. I don't know what a person, person's that cat Pokemon. Okay, whatever. Uh, moving along, yeah, you can do that as many times as you like, and uh, basically, you know, spam out potions. Um, they'll come in pretty handy in the beginning of the game, not really later on, though, since uh, I'm glad that happened, because that's something that I'll probably be doing along this game, is just skipping uh, wild battles. Sometimes I'll, ba I'll actually battle them. Sometimes I'll just skip and completely not fight, just run away, but um, I'll be cutting them out. So here is our first official rival battle against Harry. Um, he actually looks pretty cool. I mean, he's got some kind of overall. Uh, not an overall, you know, those, those tight... Th uh, no, I don't know what they're called, but... Um, they're the things that hold up your pants and that people use in the old days or something. Um, so he's going to have a snow run, which is pretty awesome. I mean, already from the very beginning of the game, we're seeing diversity in a snow run, which is pretty cool to see. Um, and I believe he's going to have the Chikorita, which is the last Pokemon that was left. So, you know, I that won't be really too hard to take out. His snow run was level 2, so I expect his Chikorita to still be level 5. Um, yep, he definitely has Chikorita. So, you know, the Professor only fights you once. This guy will fight you a couple of times throughout the game, like your normal rival will. Um, or like your normal rival does throughout any Pokemon game, pretty much. Um, I might actually have to resort to a potion here, I'm not sure, because it's doing 5 damage each time, so... Okay, I'll definitely have to use a potion here, so, you know. Um, not really a problem to use a potion, you can go ahead and use them, because once again, you do have that unlimited potion trick right there that you can spam out if you want to. Um, it's not really needed, because, you know, buying potions, they're not that expensive, and, uh... Just battle a couple of trainers and you should have more than enough money to buy a lot of potions and heal up your Pokemon whenever they become damaged, so... There we go, 67 more experience. I'm probably gonna get to level 8. I'm going to predict that, maybe? I'm not sure. Okay, fine, don't get to level 8. Jeez. I should have won. I'm ahead. Why did this happen? Now, my question is, how did we just talk to you and you, like, completely ran past us? I don't know. Uh, this is a huge blow. Anyway, I better be off. I'm going to Kanto to see my grandparents. You go ahead and do that, Harry. I really don't care. Um, I guess since we talked to that guy... Okay, never mind. He says you have to buy more, but you actually don't. You can just, you know, use that glitch thing. Um, let's go ahead and go back up. I hope I don't... Okay, there we go. Um, I was about to say that I don't run into any wild Pokemon, and I didn't, so that's okay. Let's battle this, uh, bug-catching guy. Now, something else I want to introduce that I usually do is that, um, I'll just be showing off each Pokemon that the trainer has, like so. So his second Pokemon will be a Caterpie. And then at the end of the battle, I'll show him off, you know, getting beat up and whatever in his little dialogue. So, I'll be doing that for, uh, most Pokemon battles that don't really, you know, they're not really important, like, rival battles or anything. So, just normal trainer battles, I'll just be skipping, and wild battles, I'll just completely skip. I did fight a Redditor right there and got to level 8, so, you know, I actually just found your hard skill, and I'm definitely not giving it to you because I'm evil. 
And due to my stupidness in fighting a Nidorina right there, I got myself poisoned. And I just ran into a Swablu, which I guess is pretty cool if you want to catch that or anything. Oh, I definitely like pills. I like drugs. Yes, I do. Oh, great. So, uh, you know, little kids being all hyperactive, you know, hooked on the soda pops, and this guy, you know, using drugs. This game is great. And this girl's only Pokemon will be a Seedot. Now, this poisoning is starting to get a little annoying, because I actually just used up both of my potions right there, so if I can't get to the next town without dying, uh, I am most likely gonna get screwed up the butt. So, hello, youngster. There have been reports of a shady characters around this area. Any chance you've noticed any? Oh, that's okay. Well, I did see that kid doing drugs over there, but I guess you don't really care about him because he's a little kid and no one was suspecting to be doing drugs, but you know. Other people, like this guy here, um do drugs and they're evil. I don't know. But uh, here's the Pokemon Center. If you guys don't know the premise of Pokemon Center, I feel kind of sad for you, but basically heal up your Pokemon for free. Don't need to use potions or anything. And it does heal up status moves too. So, you know, if you're poisoned, paralyzed, confused, well, confused doesn't really apply, but poisoned, paralyzed, asleep, and uh, I think that's it. You can heal that up. Burnt or ice. Yeah, no, those don't, really, don't then apply either. Only burnt, paralyzed, and asleep count. So, I'm not burnt. Uh, whatever, you get what I mean. Um, poison, paralyzer, asleep. There we go. So, here's the second city. I didn't even pay attention to the name of it, but, you know, I guess we'll take a minute to explore this. The breeze of the wind on my legs is so refreshing. Um, I'm glad you feel that way, so. Here's this fat guy. Nile CD is underpopulated. That's why a lot of the houses here have no residents. It's a shame, isn't it? Too many houses, not many people. Um, this is something that I also really like about this hack, is they actually took time and put in a bunch of, um, wow. Okay, so you don't swear. They took in the time to put in a bunch of houses, like, cities in Pokemon usually have like one or two houses with people in them, and it's really dumb how it's called a city, with like only five people population. It's pretty dumb, but... Uh, this house is locked right here, so I guess that's one of the houses that guy was talking about that's not populated. Um, this house is also locked. Over here is kind of a secret, I guess, if you can walk behind buildings, or if you count walking behind buildings as a secret, um, there's a rare candy, which is a pretty awesome item. Um, you can raise one level of your Pokemon for the price of nothing. You just basically use the rare candy, you get a free level up. Um, here is Devon Corporation in Nile City, and we get the Team Rocket, um, music, so... This guy here is the receptionist, or the little brother of the receptionist. This old guy here is Steven! Now, I really think this is Steven, you know, from Devoncorp. He's actually looking for a letter. We'll be getting to finding that letter next episode, though, so... You know, let's go ahead and explore a little bit more of the city. We're not actually gonna end up just yet. Um, but I really think that's Steven from, uh, Pokemon Emerald, you know, he's also in Heart Gold, Soul Silver. Here's this guy who thinks his teacher is hot. That's pretty bad, kid. That's... that's sick. Yeah, that's someone's daughter, man. You should be embarrassed. Um, so let's get out of here and over to this building, which I'm... Yeah, I predict that was going to be locked. Um, one more guy over here. I like shorts. I like shorts. Do you like shorts? Oh, sorry. I was in such a trance with my eye touch. I guess I just started singing randomly. Sorry. The funny thing is, there's actually people that do that, and they just kind of, you know, like... I don't know. They, they get, like, zoned out with their iPod touches and whatnot. Technology is evil for you. Don't use it. I was hoping there would be a hidden item here, but definitely not. So next episode, we'll be finding that guy's letter and proceeding on to the next city, hopefully. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out my channel if you want to, and look forward to my next episode, possibly tomorrow, if not the other day. I really don't know. See you guys later.